This is Vector Journeys we're looking at today. We're going to be using Pegasus questions and this is applicable to both National 5 and Higher, although Higher would probably have some angles involved at that level. Right, this is going to be a series of four video clips, okay? We're going to have two questions per video clip and it's going to increase in difficulty from a basic understanding to uh, some more complex diagrams that we're going to be looking at. So, let's look at the, the first question that we've got here. Right, so what we're doing is we're, we're looking at a diagram that we've been given and what we're trying to do is to understand the vectors that have been given, okay? So, if I'm travelling from R to P, okay, I'm going to travel along the vector A. Uh, if I'm going uh, from P to Q, I've got vector B in that direction. So remember about the direction uh, is important for these vectors. And for some of the questions, what we need to do is to look for an alternative route around the diagram when we've not been given information. Right, let's go ahead and we'll do this question here, which is relatively simple. And uh, what you can do is you can freeze the video if you want and try the questions. I'll show you the solutions. Here's the solutions. Right, for part A, we have to express each of the following displacements in terms of vectors A and B. So I've got vector A and B here. Right, so the first one that we're after is the vector P to Q. So P to Q is just simply from here to here, and that there is the vector B. For part B, what we've got is we have to work out uh, the vector QP in terms of uh, A and B. QP is just from Q to P, which is just the reverse of PQ, so it would be negative in the opposite direction of vector B, so that's going to be negative B. Part C, what we're looking at is vector PR. Okay, so vector PR is going from this point here to this point here, and if I go along in that direction, I'm going opposite the vector A, so that's going to be minus A. So, quite straightforward in this diagram here. For part D, okay, for D, RQ is the vector that I'm interested in. Now, if I look at RQ, I don't have any information about RQ. So, in this diagram here, I'm going to have to look at an alternative route for uh, to go from R to Q. So, what I'm going to do in this one... I'm going to do, go down to the vectors that I know. So, simple diagram. I'm going to go from R to P, first of all. And then I'm going to add on from that P to Q. So, I've just chosen an alternative route where I know the vectors. So, the vector R to P is going to be A. I'm going to add on to that the vector P to Q. P to Q is B. So, there's my answer. It's A plus B. For part E... What I've been asked to look at is the vector QR. Okay? So the vector QR is really just the opposite of RQ, so I could just take it straight from there if I wanted. What I'll do is I'll just think about it as a, an alternative route. So I'm going to go from Q to P and then from P to R. So I'll go from Q to P plus Q to R. Q to P is the opposite direction of B, so that's going to be a minus B. And also from uh, from Q to R, okay, so, whoops, that's not right, that should be P that's in there, okay, sorry. So that's Q to P and P to R, okay, that we're going. So P to R is in the opposite direction of A, so that's going to be minus A, and that would be the answer there. Or, if I wanted to tidy that up, it would be minus A plus B, if I wanted to tidy it. And that's that question complete. Right, let's look at part two, okay, the question number two here, okay. Right, so we've got an idea how to go ahead and look at uh, vector journeys and vector diagrams here from the first question, so let's do the same with this one here, just a little bit different here. In the diagram, AB, so from here to here, is equal to 2DC, so there's DC. So the vector going from A to B is double that there, it's in the same direction exactly, but just it's uh, twice the size. Express each of the following displacements in terms of vectors V and W. So there's V and W there. Right, let's go ahead and we'll move a bit quicker on this one. So let's, let's look at uh, the vector CD. So from C to D, it's the opposite direction of V, so it's going to be minus V. Part C, 
part B, we're looking at C to A, uh, C to A, let's go down this route here, so that would be C to D first of all, and then D to A. From C to D it's minus V, and what we've got is from D to A it's minus W, so minus W, so I can just leave it like that there. Part C, we're looking at A to B. Right, let's go from A to B, okay? So what I do know is that vector AB is equal to 2 times DC. And what I could have done is I could have changed the vector diagram by writing that in. Okay, I'm writing the vector in if I had wanted to do that. So it's going to be 2 times DC. So the vector DC is equal to V, so that's going to be 2 times V. They're going in the same direction, so it's going to be positive. Okay, so that's just 2V. Part D, we're looking at uh, the vector CB in terms of V and W. So C to B, okay, so I don't really know much about that at all, but I do know something about all the way around from there. So let's choose that alternative route. So I'll go from C to D, I'll go from D to A, and then I'll go down from uh, A to B. Vector C to D is minus V, opposite direction. D to A is the opposite direction for W, so that's going to be a minus a W. And from A to B, we already know that that's going to be 2V, and it's in the correct direction, so that's going to be a positive. So let's tidy these things up here, just to, to sort that out at the end. So 2V minus V is just going to give me V minus W. And that's going to be the, the answer for that one. Right, let's look at uh, part E. So we're looking at uh, the vector BD. Okay. So B to D, so two routes I could go, I could go in this direction here, in that direction, or what I could do is I could go up that way and along that way, because I already have the information that I would need for, for all of these. What I could do is, uh, why don't I just go from B to, D, B to A and then A to D, that's what I could do there. Right, so that's going to be the same as going B to A, and then adding on to that A to D. B to A, remember, was the opposite of the 2V, because that vector there was 2V, as we worked out in part C. So that's going to be minus 2V. And we're going to add on to that W. Could rearrange that round to make it look a bit better. That's the answer to it. And uh, that would be the first two questions complete. So this is the, the first of four video clips and they'll get more difficult as we go forward.